Microplastics detected in the air exhaled by living in the wild dolphins. Small pieces of plastic spread throughout the planet. They are present on land, in the oceans or in the air. But exposed to these potentially harmful speckons are not just people. Investigating the living in the wild the researchers detected microplastics in the exhaled by them, air. Microplastic pollution is ubiquitous. The little one fragments of plastic, smaller than half a millimeter, are present in the air, water, as well as the soil. Mold of plastics made from us thrown away plastic waste found on tops of the mountains, near islands, upper layers of the atmosphere or the depths of the oceans. Mercoplastic also gets into our bodies and this on different ways. We can drink it together with water from the bottle, we can inhale it with air or consume with food. Scientists note that nowadays practically it is impossible to avoid consuming microplastics, and we eat it even 5 grams every day. The effect of plastic particles on health remains unknown. Around the world, many scientists are investigating this issue, suspecting that consumption microplastics can cause many inflammatory diseases. Microplastics and plastics they are also suspected of a decrease in fertility rates. In a recent study scientists detected plastic particles in each sample of the semen being studied. But before, it was detected in the brain, blood, lungs, feces samples, and even in the bearing. In new studies, mercoplastics were found in exhaled by living in the wild, the bottlenecks, Tertiops truncatus. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Plus One. Microplastics in the air exhaled by wild living butlinos dolphins were detected by researchers from the College of Charleston in Carolina South in the USA. According to them, plastic particles get into dolphin organisms by breath when they emerge to the surface. The research team took samples of exhaled air during health assessment studies from five bottlenose dolphins in the Gulf of Mexico near Sarasota, Florida, and six bottled dolphins from Sarasota Barataria Bay in Louisiana. Analysis of the air taken from dolphins showed the presence of plastic particles in all 11 mammals. The researchers have detected at least one suspicious microplastic molecule in each individual. Further studies have shown that dolphin breathing contains several types polymers, including poly, ethylene terephthalate, popular PET, polyester, polyamide, poly, butylene terephthalate, and poly, methyl methacrylate, known also as a PMMA. For comparison, the researchers also took air samples from places where dolphins were studied, which allowed them to confirm that they were detected in the microplastics dolphins were inhaled by them. Research results indicate that inhalation may be another a key route of exposure to microplastics, next to consuming it with food. They also show that microplastic particles exhaled by bottlenose dolphins they consist of similar types of plastics that have been identified in the lungs the man. Some studies have shown that plastic contains substances chemical that can affect reproduction, cardiovascular health, and the neurological functions. Microplastics can be similar for dolphins a health hazard. Scientists estimate that the oceans contain hundreds of trillions plastic particles that get there along with the rivers. Plastics and plastics the rivers are eventually thrown into the seas and oceans. They're under the influence ultraviolet radiation occurring in sunlight and continuous friction caused by the waves begins to shred more and more its smaller pieces. Waves and evaporation can release these molecules into the air. Dolphins and other marine mammals breathe at the surface of the water, so they can be particularly vulnerable to plastic particles. What we know from human research is that inhalation microplastic can lead to pneumonia and other problems with breathing. Because we observed similar particles in the exhaled by dolphins air, and in humans, dolphins may also be exposed to problems with the lungs, said Miranda Geoback of the College of Charleston. The authors note, however, that their findings are preliminary and that more research will be needed to better determine the degree of exposure to different types of microplastic in bottlenose dolphins and also determine potential the health effects of dolphins. We know that microplastics floats in the air, so we suspected that we would find him in the samples of exhaled air. We are concerned about what we see because dolphins have a large lung capacity and they breathe really deep, so we worry about what these plastics can to do their lungs, the authors wrote in the paper. Fi